No, Kuro, um, I was doing that last round. Cause like, it was like five minutes left. So I was just like, fuck it, I might as well. Okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker house. Three years? Tits off. Who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. Mm hmm I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. Okay. She wasn't thinking right. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. It wasn't thinking she right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. Mm -hmm. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. Right, right. Okay. The people who lived there were already infected. Right. <laughs> what was left of them wasn't human. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. That's right. Uh-huh. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with right. a serum. Okay. We get, we saved Mia, right? Uh-huh. What happened else? What happened after that? What else happened? Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up. Okay. And saved the both of us. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. Okay, right, uh-huh. You got experimented on, it's right, uh-huh. It's not over, uh-huh. We're moving on. <laughs> Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father. Okay. It was hard at work. All right, yeah, uh-huh. But uh -huh. the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries... What the fuck is this Tim Burton-ass shit? ...and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes... Upon this is actually her, accurate. This is really Tim Burton's work. Tales. You wanna know how I know? ...became bone dry. Then, you wanna know how I know? Lord it's because there's no black characters. That's how I know. Bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. The so she fuck? drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. The fuck? Passing through the graveyard, I'm not the storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared. And with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself. Should I skeleton to show up? Yo, for real. Joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. The fuck is what is this then child doing? King appeared. And offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. So he ain't give her no ride Did home you know, or nothing? That's crazy. She soon entered the forest dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. Oh, it was not a gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark, yet regal. Okay. And then what happened? I'm like, the fuck? Gifts well, what you need to explain? But more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Mia actually kind of looks, uh... She's asleep. Cute from the side. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. 
I mean, this is actually kind of accurate, though. Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank God. Ethan, shut the fuck up, you, you bitch. She wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Oh. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you I'm better be sorry, you I'm bitch. Just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Mm-hmm. That's right, Mia. Tell him. Tell him take his bitch ass upstairs and you'll do dinner. He a bitch anyways. The fuck are you crying for, nigga? Punk ass Ethan. I wouldn't have married your bitch ass either. I would have okay, left. Right? Just I like her. I, want to remember him. I can't blame her. Why don't you shut Oh. I'm Ethan? Fuck! Nothing. I'll put her down. I want to cook dinner. <laughs> I don't want to be a, a punk ass older white man. Oh, that's weird that I opened that like that. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. How about we go for a walk right now? Oh, wait. We can search the house. Let's search the house, guys. What's in the house? Oh, I can't crouch yet? Alright, cool. That's fine. Some of that stuff is from the Baker house. You guys saw that shit? It looked like it. Examine. Oh. The fuck is this Care Bear ass shit? You know, it could be worse. It could be Pepper Pig. Pepper the Pig or whatever the fuck it's called. I know enough. I know enough to know that I already hate it and I don't have a kid yet. That's all I needed to know. Can I throw the baby? Ah, finally shake the baby. <laughs> All right, let's turn this shit off. We don't care about this. It's a lot of greenery in the house. Mom got you another new book? Yeah, what the hell you thought? Okay. All right. All right, little, little glow, little glow oh, on. Yeah. All right. What a miracle. All right, all right. It doesn't Three say anything. Ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Wait, what? Oh, no, he's saying three years ago he couldn't imagine this would happen. Okay, I understand. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? <laughs> yeah, except for uh, someone is going to be there. Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. You hungry? No? Maybe later then. <laughs> this baby Dad, is locked too up. Close to me when I'm cooking, babe. The fuck is you even cooking, though? Alright, cool. The least you can do is tell me what's up. Tell me what she's cooking. Hop! So this stuff keeps piling up. Ah! Who is this white woman? That's Mia. That's your wife. Oh, that was our first. Wait, her it's birthday will birthday. be here before we know it. Sweet potato puree, bro. These niggas is rich. What the hell? They grow up fast. Let's just enjoy it while we can. Yeah, they got money. Holy shit. Wait a minute. They actually have money. I need to rob these dudes. Hop sound like baby steroids? It do. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Man, shut the fuck up, you bitch, bro. I'm tired of you crying about this book. I hope your wife dies, nigga. <laughs> your mom and I love this song so much. I'm only saying this because I actually know that that's what happens. And we know that's what happens because the trailers give it away. I hate that they do that. They probably sued Umbrella. Umbrella doesn't exist anymore. Well, technically, the Umbrella that we all know doesn't exist anymore. Interesting. She's been on meds and shit, huh? Nature's milk! Milk from the nature's titty. Oh, 
Okay, well, if we're almost there, then we're not going there. Yeah, let me do a casual playthrough on the hardest difficulty in the game. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. <laughs> that day won't be today, though. <laughs> <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Oh, so this was the cover-up that they did. Okay. Curtains closes on the Dolby gas incident. The community, I mean, the community, the committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by leak of natural gas that had built up in the, mur I mean, mud rock under the area. Jake Baker and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. Interesting. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it'll last 10 years before the area is habitable again. What the fuck type of What's gas? This already? Well, you know what? Actually, that would kind of make sense. That's a, that's a wild cover up though. Yeah, it, honestly, Mia dying is the best thing that happens to Mia in her entire life. Other than having a kid, because who the fuck would have married this guy? Are you serious? Wait, Mia's room is in our. Oh, well, I guess that would make sense, huh? Shut your bitch ass up, baby. All right. <laughs> February 6, 2021. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe. Oh, well, that was a mistake. I don't know why they did that. And can bring up Rose properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend like it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives without, I mean, with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this, too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Okay. What happened three years ago? Well, three years ago, we was in Louisiana going through some rough shit. <laughs> Results for additional fun... Fun... Oh... Whoa, interesting. Rose is fine. She is not fine. <laughs> well, hi there, little Rose. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> the cars are actually coming in. It's not paranoid. <gasps> They're really out to get you. Kendo. Joseph Kendo. Nice. At least there's some fucking respect for my man Kendo is still going on out here. <laughs> Notice how they always have Ethan is like hidden. Like his face. I don't know why. It's super weird. Uh I don't know about him being hot. His face is never shown. So you can't judge for yourself. I wish it could stay like this forever. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. All right, she's about to get ugly because I just heard cars. Survive. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. <laughs> That's an ugly baby. No, I was just playing. Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. Is this is a book, okay? my guy? It is a book, but it's a book uh, from like Kendo. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's Churba de la Gum. It's a local recipe. It's a... What? Full native, haven't you? Hmm? 
Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. But yeah, Joseph Kendall is the brother of the guy that owned the gun shop in uh, Everything's gonna Raccoon Seriously, City. I think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <laughs> Mia, get down! Mia! Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Holy shit. Holy shit. That was so random. They was having a random ass conversation about the Whoa, local. Move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? If I could secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Damn! <laughs> Yo, why? <laughs> Chris said that in such a manly ass voice. Holy shit. Oh, you know what? I think I get it. I think I understand. I think I understand. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. I hardly talk about anything else. Them test results came back positive like a motherfucker. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia, Mia. what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. Yeah. I have to take this. I was right. They're still they're still infected. I mean, it is still the same Chris. It's just that this Chris Jesus. is uh, back to his normal looking so That's all. About damn time. What's your status? The package safe. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off my Oh. Okay, so they did kill Mia because Mia is still, happened to you? you know, <laughs> get out. <sighs> Atlanta Target recover body. Yep, secure. Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters moved to Winters. What? Why would they do it like that? Anyways, to site C to uh, for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany you. Okay. Huh. 
<laughs> yeah, so Mia was supposed to get killed, and the uh, other two was just supposed to be, you know, invested. I mean, well, uh, made sure that they're still safe, even though, you know, no one's gonna save. This is very unfortunate. I wish you would fucking point the flashlight elsewhere, you know, so I can actually get a fucking glimpse of what the hell is going on. Because I hear shit running around. Yeah, Zoe ended up pretty weird. But that's because of her own infection. And then she crystallized on top of that. Oh, shout out, scratching my ear. The fuck? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Oh, that's a lichen. Definitely the village. I don't touch it. No shot. Not over here, they're not. Fuck. Oh, Mother Miranda. I don't like this. Oh, is this a rat? The fuck? You're just now realizing his blood that you're following through, bro? Like, come on. No, it's a mouse. Rats are out. You're right. All this. That's fair. You got it. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going the other way, bro. Like, he's hitting towards the noise and shit, bro. Like, no shot. Me? No, 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 no. Shit, I would have tried to flip that car back over and drive the fuck up out of here. Where the hell am I?
Okay, so Chris is definitely still working with Umbla uh, Umbrella Blue. That's for sure. The fuck? That's a thick ass horse. The fuck happened here? Maybe, maybe they're out. Oh yeah, they're out. All right. Vampires and lichens. Oh my! Oh, that shit got fucked. The hell. Okay, there's something up in here. All right, cool, 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 cool. Do not enter. But I have to. Otherwise, how else will I get the spooks? Well, I can't go that way, obviously. Yeah, he, like, literally grabs nothing. He just walks through this village that is clearly fucked up. That is really fucked up. Like, bro, ain't no... I'll grab something to fight with. What happened? This nigga was so paranoid about what the hell was gonna happen with Rose and stuff, and it's just like, bro, you're in an unfamiliar area with an area that looks very fucked up, mind you. You're hearing all these noises, and you don't think for one second that, hey, maybe I should grab something to fight with. Nah. Let me just explore and figure out what's going on. Oh, this is gonna be shit. Did they just run out of the house? I would have. You hear all these noises, my dude? Not cool. Wait. So what? Okay. Interesting. Did I open one of these? No. Cool. There's a way out of this bitch. I'm just too retarded to actually figure it out yet. I feel like I could just move this shit. I mean, realistically, I would move this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we back in the village. What's up, Galactic? So that's caved in. Let's see. The next logical thing would be the fucking thing over here, but I guess not. Really? No, no. Friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... I don't know. What's going on?
He hears that and he's like, what's going on? They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Take it. Ethan gotta be the most dumbest nigga in the world. Are you listening? Hey! What the? Now, are you done asking questions, Ethan? Jesus Christ. I don't understand how he lived through the first game. Like, I really don't understand how he lived through the first game. There's no way that he lived through the first game. Wait, there's more. There's no way. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? My man here all How does this keep happening? No. Oh, I was trying to shoot and I was like, bro, the controller is fighting me. Like the control is actually fighting me. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? Is there anything else? Shotgun, maybe? No? Alright. <coughs> Bitch. Oh, he lost. He lost a few of them. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to find something here now to actually... Yep. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. That wasn't what I was supposed to find. Wow. Mm hmm. Is there anything else I'm supposed to find in here that I'm not supposed to find? But I'm finding anyways. Because, you know. My man lost no fingers <laughs> immediately. Bro, I swear, I could just grab this and just open it up with that, but, you know, whatever. The game wants me to explore. Or not. Never mind. The game wants me to explore, like I was saying. Yeah, like, honestly, if Ethan was black or Mexican or Puerto Rican or literally anything, he wouldn't be asking 31 questions. Well, that's great. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go that way. 